Hi friends, welcome to Connexo Technical Insight. I am Rahul Randeria and I would be conducting today's show. Today we would be discussing regarding the trends, the setups, the technical indicators and uh, candlestick patterns on Nifty and Bank Nifty as well as on the different asset classes. Now first of all, let us discuss what we have mentioned in our last video. In our last video, we have mentioned that the markets have entered into the overbought territory some sort of uh, uh, pullback or a, a correction cannot be ruled out because uh, last week was a truncated week but as we see that uh, market was consolidating but the day uh, when the us market uh, on, uh, on the from the us market front uh, the data came a little bit too, uh, good on the macro front market started rallying and uh, we have seen that our market ended on a positive note as well as the global market were trading on a positive trajectory. But as I said that still the market are into overbought territory. Yes, the rally is uh, inching higher and higher, but the pace of the rally is uh, quite slow. It is little bit uh, getting tired at these levels. Uh, yes, uh, and as we have mentioned in our uh, video, Two, two months back that we had a target of 18,000 and which is a uh, highly possibility that we might uh, see Nifty testing or breaking at 18,000 levels which is a psychological mark in the coming days maybe in the next five to seven days so the trend seems to be positive but again as I said that next week uh, uh, is also a truncated week we have uh, only two to three days of trading because of uh, uh, trading holidays so again, at the higher levels, we feel that market might consolidate. It would be highly tricky for traders to trade at the higher levels. Markets are behaving in, in a way that it is opening uh, with a positive gap. Then it starts consolidating or trade sideways throughout the day. This, uh, this, is, uh, this was the trend that we have seen in the last week. Again, this kind of trend could be seen. And yes, profit booking cannot be ruled out at the higher levels. But as of now, the trend still remains intact. Any dips should be used as a buying opportunity. So now let us go to uh, the Nifty daily charts and try to figure out what is uh, the charts pattern indicating. Now this is the daily chart of the Nifty. This was the trend line which we have been mentioning since last uh, two, two and a half months. So almost, you can see it has almost tested those levels. Now uh, Nifty has been uh, taken pause of uh, of the last two days and it is on a verge of a breakout of this particular uh, trend line now here you can see when I am synchronizing the chart when I am uh, getting the chart closer you can see this RSI on the downside has entered into a comfortably uh, overbought territory you can see RSI is just nearing RSI lies, uh, line is just near 80.48 so it is into overbought territory and you can see this Though the markets are going high, the, the range of the market is getting narrower and narrower, which indicates that uh, the rally is getting a little exhausted. Some sort of profit booking or a time correction cannot be ruled out. So any dips should be used as a buying opportunity from these levels. So uh, let us uh, uh, discuss the important supports and resistance level in the Nifty for the next week. So the important support in the Nifty for the next week is placed at 17,597 is the first support. Second support is placed at 17,444. And third support is placed at 17,348. Whereas on the upside, the first resistance is placed at 17,842. Second resistance is placed at 17,921. And third resistance is placed at 18,095. These are the crucial important supports and resistance level in the Nifty for the next week. Traders are suggested to be little cautious because Nifty has uh, tested the resistance trend line of the last eight to nine months multiple times. This is the fourth time it has tested those levels. Prior to this, three times uh, it has tested those levels and it has corrected sharply. So uh, at these levels, I'm not expecting a huge fall, but yes, some sort of profit booking or a uh, little bit of consolidation because of a long truncated week cannot be ruled out at these levels. 
and 18,000, which is the psychological mark, is still intact. The target which we have been mentioning from the levels of 15,500. So definitely, any dip should be used as a buying opportunity. But yes, next week is going to be for uh, option traders. It is going to be uh, the week for option writers, maybe the call writers and the put writers. So maybe uh, we are expecting a range bound trade uh, with a sideways to negative or sideways to flat kind of uh, trend for the next week. So friends, uh, let us go to uh, uh, Bank Nifty now. Uh, what we have seen that it has uh, given a breakout uh, uh, prior to uh, the Nifty. You can see the breakout over here. It has given breakout maybe three week, uh, three weeks earlier, and uh, Nifty is yet to give a breakout. So Bank Nifty seems to be looking positive, but again, as I said, you can see this RSI has also entered into uh, overbought region. It is RSI is just between. Uh, 80.09 prices are getting narrower and narrower rally is getting exhausted so some sort of profit booking cannot be ruled out at these levels so again due to a long truncated week we are having two two days holidays in the next week so i'm not seeing a major upside in bank nifty also from these levels either consolidation or some sort of profit booking cannot be ruled out but the strategy still remains intact buy on dips uh, wait for corrections and ride and then try to enter uh, long at the lower levels. Now let us discuss the important supports and resistance level in the Bank Nifty. The important support in the Bank Nifty is placed at 38,795 is the first support. Then second support is placed at uh, 38,402 and third support is placed at 38,155. Whereas on the upside, the first resistance is placed at 39,197. Above that, the second resistance is placed at 39,424. And third resistance is placed at 40,160. So these are the important supports and resistance level in Bank Nifty. Traders are suggested to follow these levels and then trade accordingly uh, in the primary trend. Uh, I mean to say the direction of the primary trend for the week. So now let us come to the third segment of our show, which is option analysis. In option analysis, we'll, we'll try to figure out, uh, uh, we'll try to analyze, you know, the concentration of calls and puts, implied volatility, rise into open interest, option premiums. We'll try to analyze those data and figure out what could be the trend for the next week. So you will see on the screen, uh, first of all, uh, the data of Nifty uh, uh, call options. In Nifty calls, the action was seen in 17,800 calls, then 17,900 calls, 18,000 calls, then 18,100 calls. Now here you can see there has been rise in the volume, rise in the open interest. Implied volatility is in the comfort zone. It is between 9.92 to 10.69. Uh, you can see that there has been a slight correction or there has been a uh, slightly uh, price uh, premium erosion in uh, Nifty uh, call options. So we feel some sort of uh, resistance uh, could be faced at the higher level. So maybe most probably if we look at the volume, that 18,000 could act as a major psychological mark for the next week. So any up upside from these levels uh, might invite you know profit booking at the higher levels, or the call writers might also come and start writing the uh, Nifty after the money calls. So, uh, still the trend uh, remains intact. If we see any kind of gap up opening, then we might see profit booking coming in at the higher levels. Now, let us see uh, what we have observed in Nifty puts. You will see on the screen, in Nifty uh, puts, the action was seen in the particular strike price, where you know the prices were going on and the smart money might have started uh, writing the nifty puts uh, you will see on the screen the nifty puts that the action was seen in 16 uh, 17600 puts then next was uh, 17500 puts then 17400 puts and then 17300 puts now here also you can see there has been a rise in the open interest rise in the volumes drop in the option premium implied volatility 
is also in the comfort zone it is just between uh, maybe 13.11 to 14.12 so as i said uh, looking at you know the truncated week and uh, the data of nifty calls and current uh, data of nifty puts we feel that next week is going to be for the option writers maybe both uh, the option traders might write out of the money calls and out of the money puts and might be expecting a uh, either slightly flat to negative uh, uh, expiry option a uh, weekly option expiry uh, for the next week so this is the trend which we have been uh, trying to discuss looking at the charts and looking at the option data now let us discuss what we have observed in bank nifty calls you will see on the screen in bank nifty calls the action was seen in 39300 calls then 39800 calls then uh, 30 uh, sorry 40000 calls and even uh, the action was seen in uh, maybe 40200 calls but here you can see that rise in the open interest rise in the volumes uh, the premiums are maybe slightly flat to negative uh, implied volatility is also into comfort zone it is between uh, 12.63 to 12. Point 87 uh, uh so not major upside is seen so data is uh, showing uh, uh what we call as a, a neutral kind of uh, uh indications or uh, so or maybe at the higher levels we might see some sort of selling pressure coming in or some sort of upside could be kept at the higher levels so nothing major uh, in the bank nifty option data or from from these levels maybe uh, 39000 uh, maybe 39500 could act as a major resistance on the upside if it breaks then 39800 could be possible that could be the major barrier but yes definitely maybe 5 6 700 points uh, upside might bring in pressure at the higher levels so now let us discuss what we observed in bank nifty puts in bank nifty puts you will see the action was seen in 38800 puts then 38500 puts and 38000 puts here also you can see there has been rise in the volumes rise is the rise in the open interest uh there has been a significant drop in uh, option premiums implied volatility is slightly higher it is between 15.24 to 17.62 and uh, looking at uh, at the last two trading sessions bank nifty has rallied so maybe the smart money or the option writers might be actively uh, strongly active in bank nifty puts or writing the bank nifty puts that is the reason why we have seen a sharp rally in bank nifty but as i said uh, looking at you know the overall data of charts nifty bank nifty as well as the option data of nifty and bank nifty calls and puts we feel that next week is a truncated week and uh, not major upside or major downside could be seen maybe it could be a sideways trend market might move in a zigzag manner so next week we are expecting at least uh, that option writers could be at benefit for the next week both call writers and put writers so market might consolidate in the next week it could be a sideways to downtrend or a range bound trade zigzag way this could be a trend or indecisive trade in short what we call in the technical terms so friends now let us come to the final segment of our show which is positional call i have identified one stock uh, from down uh, the oil and gas sector uh, the downstream companies uh, last week also we have identified one stock which was ioc it is still consolidating the trend is still positive it has uh, it has become ex dividend but uh, this uh, this week we are again covering in bpcl uh the most of the downstream companies are showing strength at these levels now we, if we see the charts of bpcl you will see it is a formation of an inverse head and shoulder pattern the stock is consolidating it is making a bottom at these levels and stock is well poised for an upside rally uh for the long a long term horizon from these levels so let us see the daily chart of uh bpcl which is barred mm-hmm. petrol now you can see the stock this is the daily chart the stock has corrected from the levels of 500 and it has almost corrected 
till the levels of uh, 300 so now you can see it has corrected more than 55 percent so from these levels the stock is into a consolidation phase it is into making an inverse head and shoulder so let me draw a trend line so we can have a clear view of the formation of the inverse head and shoulder now this is what we see that it is a formation this is the left shoulder this is head and this is the right shoulder the volumes are rising at the right shoulder it was still the stock is on a verge of a giving a breakout breakout is still a little bit far from these levels maybe 7 to 10 rupees higher from these levels currently the stock is quoting around uh, 333 the, the stock has potential to test the levels of this particular range which is 393 to 300, almost 400 levels in long run so long term investors and yes in support of this uh, downstream companies again if we see uh, the crude is also showing weakness at these levels for long term I will discuss the chart after uh, discussing uh, BPCL so from these levels uh, long term investors positional traders Swing traders can buy BPCL in the range of 333 and on corrections to 327 for the long term target of uh, 393 to 400 levels in next uh, 10 to 12 months. Yes, swing traders might also get a swing trade from these levels. Uh, so maybe those who want to trade for at least for next month or maybe next 4 to 6 weeks, the stock has potential to test the level of 356. So for short term swing traders, one can buy at these levels for a target of 356 and for long term investors the stock has potential to test the levels of 393 and 400 levels now let me just discuss what i have observed in brent crude spot levels which is uh, in the support of uh, the downstream companies which bid uh, dropping uh, the price uh, the dropping of price of of the brent crude companies which is hpcl bpcl and IOC. So for long term, the HPCL, BPCLs and IOCs of the world has seen a trend reversal that is positive. So one can invest for a longer period of time. Now this is the brand crude chart. I just wanted to just uh, throw some light on this particular trend. Why I am bullish on downstream companies. This is the long term chart of brand crude. Now you can see this was the triangle pattern. Maybe some sort of pullback cannot be ruled out, but this has given a breakout. Now, in long run, uh, uh, we are in August months, so maybe in next eight to ten months or twelve months. I feel, looking at this pattern and uh, uh, looking at the weakness at this particular juncture, I feel Brent could spot levels might have potential to test the level of sixty dollars. Now the only now this is the technical justification which I am giving, but the macro macro justification or macro rational which I want to give is that in the current scenario uh, in the global setup the macros of the brands crude or the uh, crude is that the demand is going down and the supply is increasing. Now this will bring pressure in brand brand crude. Uh, I mean to say brand crude from these levels in longer run. So any pullback from 100 to maybe 110, Brent crude might uh, see selling pressure at the higher levels. And as I said, in next 10 to 12 months, Brent crude might test the level of $60. So if this trend trends unfolds from these levels, if Brent crude goes to $60 in next 10 to 12 months, these downstream companies, HPCL, BPCL, IOC might give 25, 30 percent, or 40 percent return from these uh, uh, from these levels in the longer long run. So, thank you very much, friends, for watching the show. Uh, any suggestion you can give in the comment box, and have a nice trading week. Thank you.